I have been playing RuneScape for almost two decades. It's been almost five years since I maxed my account in July 2019, and I remember at that point I never really thought I would ever max every skill in the game. And completionist, it wasn't even thought of as a goal. I've always been slowly completing goals on my account, like my 120 Slayer series, which took over a year to complete. I also reached 120 Herb Lore and Farming not too long ago. Now, looking at my next goal, I realize the Completionist Cape is within reach. I have only two skills left to reach the true max at 120, being Necromancy and Dungeoneering, but I have many other Completionist Cape tasks that still need to be done, including the Quest Cape and the Taskmaster achievement. This is my journey to Completionist. So before we start this series, I do want to talk a bit about how to get the completionist cape. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different achievements that I need to complete. A lot of them are quite quick to actually get, but some of them are extremely long. And so there are a lot of daily or weekly things that you should be doing, and I will be going through that over the course of the series. But some of the main uh, tasks that need to be completed that are the most difficult include the quest cape. So obviously, I need to complete all the quests, which I have quite a few left. Uh, there is also uh, some other pretty difficult tasks like task master, where I need to complete the tasks in every area. So you can see I have a lot of tasks to complete. It's probably going to take a while, but uh, just another one of those uh, achievements that need to be completed. And then another really difficult task that is probably the third hardest is Music Maestro. So this task means I need to unlock all the music tracks. You can see I do have a lot of them already. There are a few that are grayed out. So I'm going to have to hunt down those. Actually, quite a few that are grayed out as you go down the list. So I basically need to make it to every area in the game. I'll complete the quests first, then see what I have left. But uh, yeah, that will be a bit of a difficult one. So aside from that, a lot of the other tasks are a little bit more straightforward. There are some, still some difficult ones there for ones that will take some time. There are some for uh, player on ports, things like that. But those are three of the hardest tasks to complete. And the series, I'm just going to be going through a lot of quests, getting 120 all, and uh, of course, just completing all these random tasks as well. Once they are all complete, I will be able to complain. Once they are all complete, I will be able to claim my completion escape. Hey guys, welcome to this brand new series. I'm really hoping I can give you guys some tips and some insight on how to get the completion escape what tasks to do and everything, and just follow along on my journey to getting this cape. So right now it is the start of double XP. I have used a few hours. I have 118 necromancy, so that's going to be my first goal. If you don't know, for the completionist cape, you need all skills to be maxed, including the 120 skills need to be level 120. So I have uh, necromancy and dungeoneering left. So those are the two skills that I need to get to 120 next. And double XP is the perfect time to do that. So I've been doing this for uh, 15 minutes or so, and it looks like I'm getting around uh, 4 million necromancy XP per hour, which is awesome. I have about 17 million XP to go. So really, this should only take four hours or so uh, to get to level 120. So it's kind of crazy just how fast you can train necromancy right now. Like four million XP per hour is fantastic. That's level 119 necromancy. So only one level to go. Actually increased combat level. Now 151. We're under 10 million XP. 120 necromancy completed. Let's just put it in the chat. Necromancy 120. That is awesome. Level 152 combat. Thank you guys so much. The grats in the chat. Oh, that is so awesome. So now there's a new guy there. I bought the first one from this guy. Let's go buy this beautiful cape. Oh, look at this cape. Oh, the particles look so good. <laughs> and so with that, I reached 120 Necromancy, and that is 
part of the skilling master goal completed. The only skill left is dungeoneering. All right, so I'm here at Damonheim. I am starting with 109 dungeoneering. We have 34 hours of double XP left. So lots of time. I think the goal is to at least get to 115 dungeoneering and get a pretty good head start on 120. I'm pretty inexperienced with dungeoneering. In fact, uh, I'm kind of deciding between doing traditional dungeoneering or doing elite dungeons. So we'll probably do a bit of both, uh, try them both out. Um, but there are also quite a few uh, Damon Heim achievements that I will need to complete. So those are the area tasks. And they do give pretty helpful rewards when you're training dungeoneering. So I will have to complete those anyway for the completion escape. So I may as well get started on completing some of them now. So first, I really wanted to test whether Elite Dungeons was a viable option for training Dungeoneering. I find it a lot more enjoyable. I really like bossing, so I think it would be great if this was a good option. I don't really know much about Dungeoneering, but I don't really enjoy it. So uh, it would be great to see if Elite Dungeons are good or not. I'm obviously uh, going to make a ton of money. I chose Elite Dungeon 1 because it is quite consistent money. I actually haven't learned solos yet, though. So uh, the first few runs, they were a bit rough, but it turned out quite well. Okay, here we go. And, oh, I got 60 scales. See, that is why I love this boss. That's like 66 mil, I think. I think they're going for 1.1 each. This boss is ridiculous for consistent money, although that is pretty lucky. Wait, wait. Something was doubled. I don't think the scales were doubled. Let's just check. And that was actually a PB under five minutes. I'm happy with that. Uh, okay. There is 136 mil in that chest. Get that invoke death down. Yeah, this one's going to be close, I think. Save up some stacks. Oh, yeah, the last one's weak. Okay, it won't be close. And there we go. Luck of the dwarves. I think I was a bit late. 11 scales, so not as good that time. We were really close off of PB. I think like two seconds off, pretty consistent. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, come on. Just a little bit more. Come on. Oh, okay, I got it, that was so close. Uh, What do we get? 41 agent scales, the luck is continuing. That is ridiculous. Also got uh, a Reaper done. Man, that's like a 40 mil kill. That is so good. We got a Tetsu Sword upgrade kit with, I guess, with one of my lucky charms. Just kills it, right? Yeah. And 16 scales. It's not too bad. What was that achievement I got? Beat Syria without anyone taking damage from the Shadow Tendrils. I didn't realize I didn't do that before. Too bad it's likely not an achievement for the comp cape. All right, so I'm taking a bit of a break from Elite Dungeons and we're gonna get back on the Dungeoneer and grind, completing a few of the easy tasks first, and then we're gonna go into actually training the skill. Honestly, this is kind of sad, but I didn't even know you could customize your Ring of Kinship to improve your combat in Dungeoneering. I didn't know this at all, and it's really going to improve my DPS a lot. I didn't even have full accuracy, so this is going to be great. Company Saga, these are such a pain, and I know I'm going to have to go through all of them. And we got 100%, so that should be the medium task completed. That is awesome. Another one done, and it looks like we only have uh, four left for the medium. I need to make a magic potion, flee from a boss using a self-made gate stone, and a total of 20 items in a sinkhole, so I'll have to do that. And also kill a frost dragon and use the bones in Damonheim. Doing pretty well, looks like hard achievements. I only have two of 12 completed, so that one might be a bit uh, more difficult. Looks like I'll actually need some quests done as well. And then elite Damonheim. Uh, it looks like, uh, I don't think this one will actually be that difficult. We should be able to do that one. This was also my first time doing sinkholes. It was part of the medium tasks. And overall, they were pretty good. The first one was a bit rough. I didn't really know what I was doing. But the second one, I actually came in first and was able to get a huge uh, Dungeoneering XP lamp. So the XP rewards are pretty decent. And I think you can get some cards for Dungeoneering 
uh, from this mini game as well. So sinkholes are probably something I'm going to do to train dungeoneering passively. It happens in the half hour each hour. So for example, it happens at uh, 2330 and then at 30, 130, 230, things like that. Uh, so overall, it's a pretty good daily to do. Oh my god, I got the uh, got the dungeoneering pet at 38 million XP. That was it's huge. That's pretty awesome. And we'll leave that. That is great. Got the dungeoneering pet. And I just started doing some uh, some actual dungeoneering. And I'm getting like, uh, well, how much XP was that? Anyway, that was like 100k. And I think I'm getting it doubled. And then my bonus XP, so that's like 300k per room, which is awesome. And that is level 110 dungeoneering. Got that completed. Honestly, the XP is quite fast. That's 88,000 base XP, but since it's double XP and bonus XP, I'm getting like 200 some thousand XP uh, each dungeon, and it's only about uh, 10 minutes to complete. So it's it's been going pretty fast, but I do now think I'm going to take a break from dungeoneering and we'll, uh, we'll move on to something else. And that is level 111 dungeoneering. I'm getting really good XP from this. So uh, honestly, I'm kind of enjoying it a bit more. I'm starting to understand how Dungeoneering works and it's really not that bad of a skill once you get into it. And that is another Dungeoneering level, level 114. I have been doing a lot of Dungeoneering lately and I'm kind of enjoying it a little bit more. And so I'm just a little bit of XP off of 115 Dungeoneering, so I'm going to use a few lamps just to get the level. Then we can do floor 57 and unlock floor 58. We'll complete floor 58, reset, and that way we'll get a little bit of a higher prestige during the entire reset. So I think it's going to be worth it, and we're going to hop in and do a small dungeon on floor 57 since it's already completed. Get it done real fast. Okay, so I just finished floor 58, went through the whole run, and yeah, if we look, I guess uh, flip floor 58 is the last floor I could accomplish, so we're going to reset, and I'm going to skip some more floors, so we're probably going to skip the first, uh, I think I skipped the first 16 floors last time, just to make it a lot faster. And we're gonna go, we'll go 17 to 35, then do larges from there on out. So let's confirm that. We still have 1.4 million tokens, so I am gaining tokens overall. And so yeah, overall, the Dungeoneering grind, it's been going really well. I'm starting to get a hang of all the puzzles and everything, and using the outfit and things like that, and it's just becoming a lot easier, and we're getting some really quick dungeons. I even did a few dungeons with QPRS, a fellow content creator, and he actually has some speed running records for dungeoneering. We were able to complete one in I think under four minutes, a large dungeon for like, I think I got over a million XP because we used the cards and it was insane. Like you can get some really fast XP per hour doing this. And I definitely learned a lot from when I began doing dungeoneering. Uh, I've spent a ton of time over the weekend gaining so many levels. And there it is, 116 Dungeoneering. It was a huge floor. I used a Locust card, so I got 1.2 million XP from that floor, thank goodness. I've been doing Dungeoneering for probably 10 or 15 hours the past few days. I got from 110 to 116, 70 million Dungeoneering XP. I need 34 million more. But uh, yeah, down to under one hour left. I'll probably just do the last hour, doing some more floors, but definitely gonna take a break for now. Able to complete the floor in time for double XP, but still 900k XP because I do have bonus XP. I used uh, my Locust card for double XP my ibis card for 1.5 times xp so uh dungeoneering it is actually pretty fast especially since i realized that all you need to do is go over to brill here go to consumables and you can buy these garajo cards so i'll buy another solo one it's a random card so all you want to do is just keep on buying them till you get uh, uh a locust card 
I did get an Evis here, so that's 1.5 times XP. Mosquito is double tokens. Uh, I got another Evis card. Basically, I'll just go until I get one of those Mosquito cards, which uh, I guess sometimes can take quite a few tokens. And there it is, uh, the Locust card. And then I could buy some team cards as well. I kind of like buying a few of them. See if I can get anything good, because I'm not really going to use these Dungeoneering tokens for much. And didn't get anything still. And there we go. Another Ebus card for 1.5 times for the team. And uh, I need 26 million XP left, so I'm definitely going to take a break from Dungeoneering. I've done a ton of it in the last few days uh, for double XP. So we'll take that break. Uh, I'll deposit all these cards. Now that I know these cards exist, it's going to make things much easier. So I'm really happy about that. And really, uh, it was a really successful double XP. We got from 109 Dungeoneering to 117. And we got 120 Necromancy, but 30 million Necromancy XP as well. And uh, yeah, the double XP is up, so I can really do whatever. There's a lot of tasks to be completed for the comp cape left. So that's going to be something I need to work on. And then also quests. I need to get the quest cape. And I have a lot of quests to do. Um, I think, uh, well, you could, as you can see, my quest points, 301 of 450. So I think there's actually around 100 quests that I still need to do. So quite a bit left, but it was a successful double XP. And so speaking of quests, I decided I would complete a few. I actually never completed Violet is Blue 1 or 2 on my main account, which is a bit embarrassing. So those two quests are completed. So I've been going over a lot of the tasks that need to be completed. And one of them is the task called Ran and Gold, the original. And all you need to do is go over to this person at Priftonus and toggle uh, the Golden Rocks. So now I'm going to start getting Golden Rocks to add to this plinth here. So far I don't have any because I guess I had it turned off. So that was something I really needed to do. Um, another quick thing that I did want to mention was actually in the uh, turn in challenges people, they're sort of in Priftonus or at the Max Guild, you could toggle your challenges and I blocked all of them except for Dungeoneering. So now when I get daily challenges, I get three Dungeoneering daily challenges. So that's awesome. Uh, basically, I can extend them all, do two floors, cash them all in for a bunch of XP. So I'm probably going to be doing daily Dungeoneering from now on. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to do was uh, I had some Crystal Motherload Shards. Um, basically, the idea is I need to get all of the potion recipes. But I can exchange these shards with this person. And hopefully... I, uh, well, I guess I can only do 10 a day, but I can get some potion recipes from them. Otherwise, it's like a 1 in 120 in Dungeoneering or something like that. Uh, but if I look at the recipes, I do have quite a few of them, but I'm still missing 6. So I'll need to do some more Dungeoneering to get that. And so by unlocking the Spiritual Prayer, I completed Potion Mixer 2. So now Potion Mixer 1 is basically just unlock all of these other ones. But we'll need to be getting them in Daemonheim. So that is just that goal of getting 120 Dungeoneering. I'll also need to be getting those uh, potion recipes as well. So it's just a, a slow goal that I'm working towards. And uh, that's that's about it. So a few goals in Priftonus that I need to complete. And hopefully I end up getting them over time. And that is completion of another floor. I actually got uh, the Golden Rock for Dungeoneering, which is awesome. And the XP, I think that was 500k XP. I did use two cards for that. So that's still really great. Like I'm getting 500k XP for each floor and it's taking maybe 10 minutes. So Dungeoneering is actually a pretty fast skill. And uh, also, since I got three Dungeoneering tasks, I guess I have to do six floors. I actually didn't know that. So that's another 100k. You know, I am actually just going to do it. We're just going to grind through some Dungeoneering. 
Uh, but I'm up to almost 80 million XP, so it's actually going pretty fast. And at this pace, I'll probably have 120 to engineering done in a week or two. And that's another eight ancient scales. And uh, that counts as one of my daily dungeoneering tasks. So that's the main reason why I am doing this. Kind of disappointed with the eight scales, but uh, it's a profit. Huge drop. Just got 35 ancient scales. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, it wasn't even doubled. I could have got 70 there if it was doubled. But that is like a 40 mil drop, so that's why... I'm doing 81 to complete these uh, daily dungeoneering tasks. That's another one completed. Another task that I need to watch out for is the wilderness events. There is a comp cape task to complete every wilderness event. So I haven't completed the KBD rampage event yet. So this is the first time completing it. And uh, there's quite a few left that I need to do. So I'm just going to hop over to any of the wilderness events. They are kind of quick and fun to and you always have that possibility of getting the Onyx Core. And another nine Ancient Scales. This is my, actually my 15th uh, serial kill. And I completed the Dungeoneering tasks. So we'll have that completed. Got another weekly reward. Good stuff. I actually got quite a bit of Dungeoneering XP from those, uh, those uh, Elite Dungeon runs. About 800k. We're up to about 80.8 million uh, dungeonary XP. So there are quite a few uh, quite difficult tasks to complete. Maybe not difficult, but long tasks to complete within the ports. One of them is to get the uh, Walking the Reef Cape, which you need to go under port management and toggle the cape. And so now that it's selected, I should start getting some of the pieces. I guess there's four that I need. So that is good. The other achievement, which is uh, quite long to actually get, is to complete one of the trio storylines from uh, player on ports. If I go to my ports screen, well, let's just, uh, I've just been sending out boats randomly. Like, that's how I have been doing uh, player on ports, because I never quite understood it, but I guess I'm supposed to do some of these special voyages. And if I follow the wiki, it says I will need to complete the whaler for the story progress. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just keep on doing some of these uh, special voyages. And so that is my progress so far towards the completionist cape. There is definitely a long way to go. I have a whole list of tasks that I need to complete, including about a hundred quests. So that is gonna be one of the next grinds, complete a ton of quests. And I also need to complete the area task achievements. And then one of the more daunting tasks is getting every music track in the game. I'm not exactly sure how difficult that is, but it does sound quite hard. So this series, it is probably going to take a while to complete, but it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to passively slowly work my way towards. And it is a goal of mine. So I am setting my mind to completing these tasks, and that's what I'm going to be working towards for the next while. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of my completionist cape journey. I think episode one, I made a ton of progress towards at least getting 120 Dungeoneer and we got 120 Necromancy. So hopefully the progress keeps on coming and we can get the completionist cape within the next few months. Anyway, if you are excited for episode two, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you're notified when I do upload. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.